Good morning. It's Tuesday, May 14th, 2019. I'm Russell, and this is Rocky Road Devotions, a few minutes of help for today's journey. Our devotion today is entitled, Healed, and our scriptures, Acts chapter 9. Meanwhile, Peter traveled from place to place, and he came down to visit the believers in the town of Leda. There he met a man named Aeneas, who had been paralyzed and bedridden for eight years. Peter said to him, Aeneas, Jesus Christ heals you. Get up and roll up your sleeping mat. And he was healed instantly. Then the whole population of Leda and Sharon saw Aeneas walking around, and they turned to the Lord. There's healing, and then there's healing. That first, rather subdued mention is the gradual, sometimes tedious journey our bodies take to knit back together or fight off a germ-riddled sickness. More serious still is the relapsing flu or cold that just hangs on, or the allergies that return with that magical yellow dust in the trees. This kind of healing may take a lifetime or only ceases when we stop breathing in and out. Now that's different than the kind of healing Aeneas experienced. When Peter spoke the words, Jesus Christ heals you, the healing was immediate and complete. Aeneas went from paralyzed to perfect in a heartbeat. The healing, I believe, came in between Peter's sentences. In fact, the second sentence, get up and roll up your sleeping mat, was an instruction that followed the announcement. The sequence was this. First, Jesus heals you. Then, healing and strength came to his body. And then, the command, here's what you do about that. Now, there's meaning for us in every part of this event that took two seconds and yet changed the course of history for a man and two towns. From Leda to the plains of Sharon, a distance of about 50 miles, this instantaneous healing of Aeneas turned people to faith in Jesus at a time when the movement was still in its infancy. The paralyzed man had been sick for eight years. The people who knew him also knew the sound of his grunts and groans as he hauled himself from one aching, bed-sore position to another. They knew the pain on his face and the smell of his presence. And in an instant, Aeneas, that odious reminder of approaching death, a fixture in that corner of the city square, is standing and rolling up that mat. Usefulness in the community and joy in his soul are written all over his face. Now, that is a heartwarming story about one man. But it pales in comparison to what happened to the community and the movement of turning the world upside down for the cause of Christ. Up and down the coast, the message of Aeneas' healing stirred faith in the hearts of people. So many people turned to faith in Jesus Christ that Luke's hyperbolic recording of the response was that the whole population believed and turned to the Lord. Now, whatever you've seen or heard about some slick televangelist faith healing hucksters try to remember that Christ does heal and his healing takes us from hurt to health in an instant. For you today let's carry all this about healing just a bit further. There's a bigger fish to fry than physical healing. Jesus once gave us another statement and instruction. The statement It is finished. The instruction, go into all the world. Tell them about healing from their sin. You chew on that as you hit the rocky road. Have a blessed day.